Now, staying in Parliament, on day two of the three-day-long policy briefings by leaders at the three major parties, the interim leader of the main opposition, the Minju Party of Korea, addressed the 20th National Assembly today. While topping the party's priorities, he said, the economy. Our parliamentary correspondent Shin Se-min has more on Kim Jong-un's speech today. The main talking point, once again, is the economy. In his first address to parliament on Tuesday, Kim Jong-un, the interim leader of main opposition Minju Party of Korea, said that the country's economic fundamentals should change to support economic democratization, a drive to ease the country's growing wealth gap. He said it's a task topping the party agenda and a step forward in preparing for the future. It's the duty of the 20th National Assembly to realize economic democratization, to prevent our economy from falling into more serious problems, such as what was seen in Japan and their two lost decades. He also addressed the issue of financial irregularities at Korea's family-controlled conglomerates known as Chebol, saying he will push to strengthen oversight of the conglomerates to prevent financial abuses and abuses of power. Kim also weighed in on an ongoing debate over whether to revise the constitution, calling for a special committee to deal with the matter. The main issue at the heart of the debate is the presidential term limit, and advocates are calling to change the current single five-year presidential system to two four-year terms. Experts say the change would help keep the president from having too much power. Touching on inter-Korean relations, Kim said coordinating with the North's longtime ally, China, is crucial, as are ties with Seoul's traditional allies. For the sanctions on North Korea to be effective, China has a huge role to play. At the same time, the Korean government should maintain close ties with the U.S. and should not shy away from mutual cooperation. He also proposed holding an inter-Korean parliamentary level meeting to help ease the current tensions between the two Koreas. With that, two of the three main political parties wrapped up their policy addresses. And next up is a minor opposition People's Party to deliver their party agendas on Wednesday. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.